Hello friends, hope you are fine. Today I am going to show a new project which is Hexaport Simulation in MATLAB. In this project, I have designed a simulation of Hexaport using MATLAB software and uh, right now I am just doing a Google Plus and I will also request you to do the, to do the same uh, on this project. Uh, anyways, coming back to this project, we all know about Hexaport. Hexaport is a robot which has six legs. Hexa is, uh, if you know the meaning of Hexa, it's six. And Hexaport is a robot with six legs. And uh, let me first give you some introduction of Hexaport. If you read this post, uh, whose link is given in the description of this video, uh, when you click on that link, you will come to this. Uh, blog post hexaport simulation in MATLAB and I have explained uh, a lot uh, here so I would recommend you to read this completely and uh, explaining the hexaport you can see a small image here I have designed this small hexaport uh, uh, in uh, uh, in a software and you can see this hexaport has six legs one two three four five six now uh, let me give you an overview how this hexapod moves. First of all, uh, we divide the legs in two gates. You can see these red red legs. These red legs I have named them as gate one, and these green legs I have named them as gate two. So when a hexapod moves, first of all it moves its gate one legs. All these three legs, one, two, and three. It moves these three legs in the upward direction so what it does is it moves its gate one legs in upward direction and then it moves its gate one legs in forward direction and then it moves its gate one legs in downward direction and after that it moves the gate two and it moves gate two first in upward direction then in forward direction and again in downward direction so the whole legs now move to forward position and are also placed on the ground and then finally it moves its robot body in the forward direction. I have summarized these steps here. You can see gate 1 moves in upward direction, then gate 1 moves in forward direction, then gate 1 moves in downward direction. Similarly gate 2 upward, forward and then downwards. So all the legs are in forward position and, they, uh, and are touching to the ground and then the robot body moves in the forward direction and we can say our robot has taken one step if you check the code uh, and uh, one more thing this code is not uh, uh, free uh, you can uh, buy this code from our website the link is given here when you click this link you will move to the product menu from where you can uh, buy it using your paypal account and uh, I have placed a very small amount of $100 uh, for this uh, simulation and uh, uh, you can buy it uh, from here, you can add it to cart and then can pay via PayPal. Okay. <coughs> this uh, simulation contains three files, one is hexaport.m, the other one is robotmotion.m and the third one is robotdesign.m. I have given the code for the first file hexaport.m which is kind of a uh, uh, kind of a initial code in which you decide the parameter. The main parameters in this code are these four lines. First length is equal to 50 is the length of first gate legs. Means uh, if you set it 50 then all uh, length of your first uh, Oh, 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 sorry, I have explained it wrong. The first length is the length. Uh, there are two joints in each leg. The first joint is the x axis, and the second uh, length is y in y axis. So, let me first uh, run a simulation and then I can explain it in a better way. Right now, I am doing it in command so that I can explain it uh, in a better way. When you run the simulation, it will first only do the robot design so I'm playing it 
and you can see the robot here so what i was telling is the uh, there are two uh, two lens in each leg the first lens is this one this is the x axis lens and the other lens is this one the y axis lens so both of them are right now 50 and 50 and if i give you a uh, 2d uh, 2d view of this robot then you can see the length is here you can see the length is moving from 0 to 50 in x direction uh, sorry minus 50 and here it's moving from 50 to 100 so the length of each leg the first length of each leg is 50 now if i move it in the y direction then you can see the length is around 0 to 50 and let me make it up in a better way anyway yeah yeah here it is now now it's in a better view and you can see the length of y axis is also 0 to 50 now uh, let me change their length and uh, let's see what effect it will produce on the robot so i'm changing the length to 100 the first length i'm changing it to 100 and now when i play it you can see the x axis length has changed to 100 while the y axis length is again the same you can see the first length of each leg has now extended to 100 0 to 100 and here 50 to 150 and if i give you a x axis view of this board you can see the length of each leg is now 0 to 100 and here 50 to 150 and uh, the y axis remains the same and it's uh, 0 to 50 okay you can see 0 to 50 now what if i change the length of so, second length of each leg and make it to say 100 now and making the first one 50 and now you will see the robot has uh, changed the second length of each of its leg and now it's 100 in y direction in z direction so its length has been increased in z direction and if i check it out in 2d then you can see now here it is the y, uh, z direction length is now 100 while the x direction length is still in 50 you can see 0 to 50 and here 50 to 100 so that's how you can change your lens uh, uh, any way you want let me do it like 150 and uh, 200 and it will do exactly the same and you can see it has uh, been moved out of the frame and uh, like it, uh, ha it has become very big uh, now let me change the axis if you want to change the axis then you can do it as well because it has moved away so let me change its uh, z axis which is right now in 0 to 150 so let me change it to 0 to let's say i'm gonna change it to 250 and play it and you can see now it's back to its area and now the zx is changed to 0 to 250 let me change it back 0 to 150 and let me change the lens back to 0 to 50 okay now uh, the next two variables are step size and the steps taken Step size is the steps, how much, uh, how big the step is gonna take means our hexapod, uh, when uh, we move our hexapod, so how long you want it to make the step. So I have taken the step size to 20 and step taken is how much steps it's gonna take. Right now it's one, so our robot will move just one step. So I'm gonna uncomment this part and now we are gonna run our simulation and we'll see how it's gonna move. And if you have a look, you can see the gate one upward. Uh, let me start it again uh, so that I can give you a better idea. 
and gate one upward motion, gate one forward, and gate one downward. Now, your second gate up, forward, and downward, and now the robot itself moves forward. And if you see, the initial position of our robot was zero, and now it has moved to twenty steps. Means it has moved, recovered a distance of twenty in each step. So it has. So in total, it has taken just one step. Overall, just one step, and in one step, it has covered a distance of 20. Because it's a simulation, so you can take this 20 as 20 centimeter or 20 meter, whatever you wanna take. So it's just a figure. So it has covered a distance of 20 in one step. So let me change the steps to two, so that you can get a better idea. And when we start, you can see it's on zero position. Gate one upward, forward, downward. And now gate 2 upward, forward, downward, and the boat forward. One step complete. Now second step, same routine. Forward and now downward and the boat moves forward. Now it has taken two steps and you can see the it has covered a total distance of 40 because 20 for one step and 20 for the second step. And now you must be wondering what these angles are. These are the angles of this robot, uh, which uh, uh, which uh, which are in radian, and these angles are showing. Uh, the first one is showing for uh, robot forward, uh, robot upward position. So first of all, the robot will move in the upward direction. So that's why it will take an angle from zero to point two and then it will move in the forward direction so this angle will remain at point 2 and this one is the robot angle for forward position in start it will be 0 and then it will move uh, forward will take an angle and uh, this one is for gate 2 so first two angles are for gate 1 and second two angles are for gate 2 and these are uh, just uh, extra so just to fit the size and uh, let me again run the simulation and let's make our robot uh, very take uh, let's make our robot take five steps and run it and you run it forward you can see downward second robot forward downward and robot body move forward first step complete now it's taking second step now it's moving for the third step <laughs> now fourth step <laughs> and finally the fifth step <laughs> and you can see the whole robot is moving in the forward direction in the start it was at 0 and after 10 steps and after sorry after 5 steps and each step covers a distance of 20 it has moved to 100 and now if we have a look at its uh, <coughs> position then you can see it started from 0 and now it, it's at 100 uh, so it has covered a distance of 100 in 5 steps each step of 20 so that's how our uh, hexa board works and uh, here are the graphs for each angle and uh, i hope you have liked this video oh yeah one thing i haven't shown you the step size let's make it 10 and take a step of 5 and let's see what happens play first now it will take a step size of 10 so after 5 steps it will move to 50 And you can also see the angles are now changed to 0.1. In the previous one, it was 0.2 because we have taken a distance of 20. So that's why it was 0.2. And now because we have taken a distance of 10, so that's why it's 0.1. And uh, I hope uh, it's gonna stop at 50. Four steps complete. Now the final step. And once it's done, you will see it has it will stop to 50. And yeah it is so you can see now it has moved five steps and each step size is 10 so that's why it has completed a distance of 50 0 to 50 thanks for watching you can buy this complete uh, um, uh, 
project from our website the link for the description and the uh, buying link are given in the description of this video and when you buy you will get these three files i am not showing you the files because uh, uh, you have to buy them so these are the files robot design robot motion and hexaport these three are used in designing this robot hexaport is the main file which you have to run robot mo robot design is designing this robot and robot motion is giving the, the motion to our robot so thanks for watching you can read the details here and you can down buy this simulation from this link which is also given here you can click on this button to buy subscribe our youtube channel and also subscribe us via email take care bye bye